Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Aish Benaish and in this video I'm just going to be updating you on my conch punch. So I got my conch punched about a year ago so if you've been with my channel that long you will know this and you probably saw the video. So I got my conch punched at 6mm and then got it stretched up to 8mm straight away and basically I had a little trouble healing it. I developed a ridge on the entrance and exit of the punch hole and it was kind of sore and a bit raw at first. It wasn't particularly painful but like it wasn't pleasant or comfortable to have around. Now this ridge was more prominent at the front of my conch punch and obviously I couldn't really see the back anyway so I kind of focused my efforts there and I tried loads of different methods recommended to me by modded people on how to kind of sort this out. It wasn't something people seemed to have a lot of experience with, it wasn't very common it seemed, um, at least from the people I know, like everyone else had kind of been fine when they had the exact same procedure done. But as I kind of, you know, now know, I healed terribly. I got my conch punch pretty soon after I started working in my old workplace. So, you know, it wasn't so obvious how shitty my healing was and how badly I would deal with this, like in terms of how my body would deal with it. So yeah, anyway, I had this ridge from basically my ear being stretched a little bit too much for my body's liking. And I had this sort of list of things people had told me to try. Now, one of the main things people told me to do is to downsize. And this is the most sensible option in my situation. However, the reason that I didn't want to do that straight away is because I don't stretch very well. Until I got snap plugs, my lobes weren't even stretching very well. And trying to upsize seemed like it would be either impossible or take a really, really, really long time. Probably more likely to be impossible for me though. And yeah, so because of that, I didn't want to downsize if I could avoid it. So I put that kind of at the bottom of my list of things to try. So on the list were different things like just saline solution. And I tried that, obviously I was cleaning with that anyway. But I found that sometimes that dried my ear out a bit too much. And yeah, it just wasn't really helpful to the healing of the punch. The next thing I tried was silicone gel. So silicone, like kind of in the way nopal piercing disc works, they kind of help reduce scar tissue. I'm not completely sure of the exact science of it, but they help reduce the scar tissue. And yeah, so I tried silicone gel, like the kind of thing people put on like cesarean scars and things like that. And that did help an awful lot. Like it made so much of like the big ridge go away and made it mostly at least smaller if not smooth. It wasn't completely gone and it wasn't completely unridge, but at least it was a smooth ridge rather than being kind of like red raw, random skin and all of that kind of stuff. After a while though, I felt like this wasn't helping because it is quite sticky and I always found that it got stuck to my plug and then when I, you know, needed to take my plug out to reapply new silicone gel, like even after a shower and things, it would sometimes still be kind of stuck to my ear and that would pull off any kind of healing it was doing and then create like a more open wound because it would kind of pull off any scabs that were healing, trying to like mold the area into, you know, less of a ridge. So yeah, I found that after a while that became counterproductive. So more recently I've been using like products that you use when you're stretching your ears, like your lobes, um, you know, like kind of oils and things like that and that does feel like it's been helping a little bit but it doesn't feel like it's really going to take it you know like the full way home like I feel like I'm kind of at third base and I just need that extra little kick or something to get me home and basically I think now is going to be the time that I downsize the reason I've decided to do this now is that although it's gotten so so much better I don't think I can get the whole way to healed anytime soon because it's kind of been very slow progress like it was kind of going like this and then it started to level out over the last couple of weeks in terms of progress on how it's healing um, so yeah I don't think I can heal it without downsizing and it's something I've put off for a long time but my ear is still quite sore, like it's not super sore, but it's still like 
you know, it's not like my heel piercings. I can't tug on it or anything like that. I haven't really changed the jewellery much. Um, so, yeah, I think now is the time to downsize. One, because I've done everything I can and it's still not really helping. And two, because I now have snap plugs. So, with snap plugs, that means that I can downsize. I can even downsize with snap plugs so I'm not downsizing a whole like one millimeter if I don't need to. But then even if I do downsize to seven or six millimeters, it means that when I do want to stretch back up again, because it's cartilage and it will take so much longer to stretch, I'll be able to do that at, you know, like really small increments rather than, you know, trying to do it at half millimetres like you would with most other things. And for me, that kind of takes the worry off my shoulders about having to upsize again, because, yeah, the idea of stretching cartilage with conventional jewellery sizes just doesn't make me super confident, um, especially with my healing, because I feel like, you know, I'd be 40 by the time I got it back to 8 millimetres. But with snap plugs, at least I can kind of go like a tiny little bit at a time and I can take as long as I need to. I've already got the jewellery because that was another thing about downsizing is even though it's not a lot of jewellery to buy, it was like if I then don't get back to 8mm, I've got all this 8mm jewellery here that I can't really do anything with. But at the same time, I can't even really do anything with it if I stay at 8 because it's not healed enough to wear those pieces. So yeah, downsizing is looking like it's going to be probable and I am quite intrigued to see how it goes because I personally, I think it's at the stage where, you know, maybe a month or so downsized, it would start feeling a lot better and then maybe another few months and I could start thinking about upsizing again because it's been a whole year now and most other people I know who have these things at least have healed so much quicker and I'm starting to worry and this ridge is starting to worry me I don't want it to become like something that is there I am hoping it's not too late to kind of stop it being a forever thing some days it'll be like red raw like it was a few months ago and then other days I'll wake up and it's just like as smooth as a baby's bum but you know like a bit bumpy where the ridge is but then I guess, you know, bums are bumpy. So that kind of makes sense. But anyway, I am literally at the point where I know I could heal this. I'm pretty sure I could heal it at eight millimeters. It's just a case of, I don't know how long that is going to take. And I really want, you know, like my ear to feel completely okay again. I don't want it to kind of be sensitive in any way at all anymore. So I think the best thing to do really is to downsize as that was advice given to me by many, many people. But as I said, you know, I was very worried about being able to stretch up. I am surprised that it even made, like, as much progress as it did without downsizing. But, yeah, it still doesn't look super great. So, I think that's what is going to happen next. I was really hoping that by the time I filmed this video, I kind of was hoping to film it in February. I remember I was planning it around then. But, yeah, I was hoping that by the time I filmed this video, it would be all sorted. And I've put it off and put it off and put it off, thinking, oh, just a few more weeks, just a few more weeks, and it will be okay. And, yeah, it's just not getting to that stage as quick as I thought it would. So, I thought I'd film this video just in case anyone else is kind of having the same problem or anything like that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put pictures in this video. If I do, I will probably put it you know, somewhere where I'm speaking right now. But yeah, it does look really gross, so I might not. If I don't, just drop me a message on Instagram if you do want to see it, and I'll gladly send it over to you. I do have loads of progress pictures of the whole thing, which I will probably post or put in a video when it is completely healed. But until then, uh, yeah, they'll probably just stay in my camera library until one of you wants to see them. But yeah, that is all this video is really about, just kind of going into the issues that I am actually having surrounding my conch. I've realised I've said I'm having issues, but I haven't really gone into a great amount of detail about those issues. So yeah, I wanted to just put this video out and also be like, oh, I'm downsizing so that, you know, when I come back in the next video and I've downsized a bit, it kind of all makes sense. But it has been an interesting journey. I've learned a lot about my body and about healing and about mods in general. Um, so I, yeah, I am kind of still glad I did it this way. I'm still glad that things went wrong because I have found it interesting. And even though it's annoying, I have learned quite a lot. I never thought I'd be in a situation 
where I thought something could kind of go so wrong. Not that it's gone so wrong, but just like at one point I literally thought I might have to cut my ear off. So yeah, that was really scary and I was just like, what the fuck am I going to do if this doesn't heal? Because obviously the hole is not going to close up, it's a whole huge chunk of cartilage gone. So yeah, I was a bit worried about that, so hopefully this video might comfort anyone in the same boat as well. But yeah, anyway, I've been wrapping up this video for like a whole two minutes now, so I'm going to just like end it there. If you do have any questions, drop a comment below or message me on Instagram. And if you want to see a picture, then, you know, either I'll put it in the video or message me on Instagram. I think I'm not going to put it in the video because it's a bit gross. But at the same time, people know this is probably going to be a gross video. So I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Just so you know, I've got loads of new stock over on wholeheartedlondon.com. This new high quality range not only looks stunning, but it's highly polished, internally threaded, implant grade titanium, so it's great for your piercings too.